A water processing membrane filters out impurities and bacteria from water, making it clean. It is applied in various areas, from water purifiers used at home to wastewater treatment at industrial sites. There is a new technology developed to make this important membrane. A virus that is parasitic on E. coli is being used to make the high-performance membrane, which makes this technology very interesting. The severe water pollution problem has raised the importance of securing safe and clean water for consumption. A recent report released by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, also known as UNESCO, said that 11% of the total population, which is 768 million, didn't have access to an improved source of water. In order to get clean water, a water processing membrane is necessary. Performance of the membrane is determined by how fast and properly it can filter out impurities. Scientists have recently developed a membrane that is better in performance than existing ones. The membrane developed here is attracting much attention because it is made from the M13 virus that inhabits on E. coli bacteria. A circular single-stranded M13 has been used in many studies because it is a self-assembled layer. The M13 virus is a virus that can be amplified. It's based on the host material of E. coli bacteria. Uh, so it is very uh, safe and there's no concerns for the toxicity or some infections to the human body directly. So uh, we don't have to worry about that. And more, more important aspect of this virus material is simply by triggering is the protein functionality around these virus bodies, uh, we can control their assembling behaviors to very ordered nanostructure and in these studies, we made a very well-aligned nanomesh structures made of virus material, uh, which is very appropriate for the membrane application, which is requiring a highly porous characteristic. Scientists reshaped the tail of the virus through genetic modification, fixed it on graphene oxide, and aligned it in a straight line by flowing water or air through it. Then the scientists layered them vertically and horizontally, one by one, on top of each other to make a fine membrane looking like a mesh. Virus를 한쪽 방향으로 전열시키기 위해서는 엉킨 머리카락을 풀때 빗질을 하는 것처럼 한쪽 끝 부분을 선택적으로 고정시키고 나머지 부분을 빗질과 같은 물리 물리적인 힘을 이용하여 특정 방향으로 전열시키는 방법을 활용하였습니다. 이번 연구에서는 바이러스의 그 꼬리 끝 부분을 선택적으로 산화 그래핀의 모서리 부분에 결합할 수 있는 특성을 부여하고 여기에 물의 흐름과 같은 물리력을 작용시켜 간단하면서도 대면적의 그 바이러스 전열 구조체를 제작할 수 있었습니다. 이러한 바이러스 전열 구조체를 90도 방향으로 어, 격자 방향으로 순차적으로 적층시킴으로써 나노 구름망을 제작할 수 있었습니다. Virus membrane made from this process is more dense than the membrane in current use and yet more effective in penetration, being only 10 to 30 nanometers thin. A conventional the membrane system has a very non-porous characteristic. Therefore, uh, to compromise that uh, problem, the people have to de de increase the, the membrane thicknesses, which uh, reduces the membrane performance very uh, severely. Therefore, uh, to challenge these issues uh, in our researches, uh, we use the viral nano the fiber and make them to very highly ordered structure and use that structures for the mem uh, membrane application, uh, which uh, shows that a uh, very high the separation efficiency, and at the same time, uh, they can exhibit a uh, very nice, uh, very high uh, the permeable, uh, permeability characteristic. The performance of the membrane was tested by using red-colored solution containing nanoparticles that is the same size as the cold virus. As a result, the membrane was accurate in filtering out more than 95% of nanoparticles that were 10 nanometers in size. Moreover, this membrane was faster than the conventional membrane in filtering the fluid by two to four times in speed. 균일한 기공 크기는 일정한 그 크기를 갖고 있는 분리 대상 물질에 대해서 높은 분리 효율을 나타낼 수가 있는 특성도 확보할 수 있었습니다. 
이러한 그 나노 그 나노 크로마 구조체는 상용화된 분리막의 경우와 비교하여 어 이제 완벽하게 그 제거 특성을 갖는 조건 하에서도 어 3배에서 4배 이상의 그 특성을 투과 특성을 나타내는 것을 확인할 수 있었습니다. But is there a possibility that the membrane made of virus being harmful to humans? Scientists say there is no such concern as the virus is treated in high temperatures. There is no further concerns for the human infections because M13 virus is only amplified using a host material of the E. coli bacteria. So there is no direct infections or toxicity to the human body. But uh, to completely remove this concern, uh, we thermally treated this the final, the produce, the, uh, the membrane material at uh, 180 Celsius degree, uh, which is uh, enoughly high for deactivate the viral functionality. So after the completions of the, the viral membrane, there's no further concerns for the human infection. The membrane developed by the scientist can be used not only in water purifiers, but also to enhance performances of the lithium ion battery and solar cells by utilizing the virus structure. In these researches, we only use this the viral membrane uh, just as its uh, structural characteristic because it has very uniform, well-aligned structure. We used it for viral or the membrane application, but this viral symmetry is very smart, and so it can be simply switched and converted into very noble the metallic species or inorganic species that is use of, useful for uh, generate or the store the energy. So. The currently, uh, we are doing a extended researches for uh, developing the uh, high-performance electrode materials for solar cell or the lithium-ion battery. Also, we are doing a researches for highly sensitive sensor devices for biological and environment application. Water processing membrane made of viruses and yet harmless to the human body. It can also be in mass production. It is expected to be in commercial use after four to five years, and efforts will continue by Korean scientists to further develop the new technology. Korea's rain gauge, Chugugi, was invented in the Joseon Dynasty for the first time in the world. At that time, people had to personally measure the amount of rainfall. About 570 years have passed and now, we are living in an era where we can analyze global weather conditions with a supercomputer and predict next week's weather with a smartphone. Now, going over to our temperature readings, horror will start off the morning at 9 degrees before reaching up to 19 in the afternoon. Weather is so closely connected to our lives. Like this, weather forecasts control our daily lives. Indeed, Korea has the world's top-level accuracy in weather forecasts. How do the weather forecasters predict the fickle weather that changes several times a day? An accurate weather forecast starts with an accurate weather observation. Observation equipment installed nationwide and Cheonlian satellite outside the Earth collects real-time weather information from a total of 127 places in Korea, including the ground, offshore, and the sky. 전국에 약 500, 500대 정도의 관측장도에 있는데 매, 매 분마다 어, 기온, 기압, 습도, 바람 이런 것들을 관측을 합니다. 아, 그리고 어, <웃음> 커다란 풍선을 띄워서 고층, 즉 상층의 어, 날씨를 바, 어, 있는데 그것은 하루에 네번 관측을 하고요. 그리고 우주에서 인공위성에서는 또 15분마다 또 관측을 하게 됩니다. The data observed this way is sent to KMA's Information and Communication Center through a high-speed wired network. As weather conditions change several times a day, it sets up a dedicated telecommunication network to receive real-time data. The high-speed telecommunication network that boasts a speed of 100 to 300 megabit per second runs 24 hours a day. KMA introduced the third supercomputer to rapidly process massive amounts of data. It processes the amount of data that 600 million people can calculate in a year in just a second. The supercomputer generates about 80,000 pages of forecast data a day based on the weather observation data. 어떤 예보를 사용함에 있어서 어떤 그 
날씨를 지배하는 어떤 그 요소들이 좀 있습니다. 그런 요소들을 중심으로 해서 예를 들어서 강수가 예보된다고 하면은 어떤 수증량의 어떤 유입, 유입되는 상태라든가 또 온도 분포, 그 다음에 바람의 색이라든가 이런 부분을 위해서 중요한 부분들을 보고 그런 핵심적인 그 요소들을 의지로 해서 보고 그 외에 이제 나머지 자들은 부차적으로 해서 같이 이제 보고 있는 상황입니다. Aside from forecasting by district and time, the forecast room separately announces forecasts on earthquakes, typhoons, yellow dust, and fine dust that can cause disasters or be sensitive to certain professions. These forecasts are updated every three hours in accordance with the frequently changing weather. If you select a residential area, you can get its detailed weather information such as temperature, amount of precipitation, direction and speed of the wind, as well as humidity. 수치 모델 자료에서 예보를 생산하게끔 기본적인 기초적인 자료들을 제공을 해줍니다. 여러 가지 뭐 기온이라든가 뭐뭐 뭐 하늘 상태라든가 항상 오류의 그 가능성을 늘 가지고 있기 때문에 그런 부분들을 동네 예보관들이 자기 실정에 맞게 또 다른 자료 같이 더불어 분석하면서 예보를 다시 생산을 하는 거죠. The Korea Institute of Atmospheric Prediction Systems is developing a Korean-style numerical weather prediction model that reflects characteristics of Korean Peninsula's geographical features and weather. The numerical weather prediction model describes the movement of atmosphere and algorithm. It is a logical forecast based on observation data, but it comes up with forecasts quite close to real situations. 흘러가는 그러한 그 대기가 유체입니다. 유체이기 때문에 어떠한 그 물리적인 방정식을 따라서 운동하게 됩니다. 예를 들어서 이제 그 자동차가 출발을 하게 되면은 그것에 대한 그 가속도를 알게 되면은 아, 몇 시간 후에 어느 지역에 가 있을지 그것이 예측이 가능하죠. 다행히도 대기가 그러한 그 물리적인 법칙을 따라서 운동을 하게 됩니다. 그래서 초기 시간을 정확하게 알고 그리고 초기 위치를 정확하게 알고 물리적인 법칙을 정확하게 표현한다면 은 향후 몇 시간 또는 며칠 또는 몇년 후에 대개의 상태를 예측하게 됩니다. We visited Korea Meteorological Administration or KMA which is in charge of Korea's weather forecast. In an education room at KMA headquarters, a lecture on the latest weather forecast technology is in progress. 기상청에서 개발한 여러 날씨 예보를 위한 관측이라든지 모델 등이 많이 있습니다. 그거에 대한 기술을 좀 알려주고 실습을 통해서 각자 동남아 나라에서 활용할 수 있도록 교육을 하고 있습니다. But the people attending the lecture aren't Koreans. They are weather forecasters from Southeast Asia visiting Korea to learn the country's weather forecast knowledge. Uh, we will be able to learn a lot on forecasting, especially for wave modeling and also for storm surge, which is a need in our country. It is very helpful, of course, for us because, you know, in our country, that is developing country. So in our meteorological department, we use uh, different kinds of ICT application there. Here uh, in KME, uh, they are just uh, teaching us how to apply this kind of application there, like storm surge model, wave model, and other numerical weather prediction. The weather information announced by KMA is sent to the media and disaster prevention agency in real time through a dedicated fixed line. Through this, civilians can check today's weather every day and the disaster prevention agency can preemptively deal with possible weather disasters. 기대 효과는 예측성의 향상이라고 볼수 있습니다. 내일 모레 그리고 강수 예측의 정확성. 비가 몇 시부터 몇 미리까지 어느 지역에 얼마만큼 오느냐. 현재는 일주일 정도가 이제 실질적으로 예보에 활용이 되는데 그 기간이 더 연장이 되는 거죠. 일주일이라면 은 10일 또는 그 이후까지 우리가 적극적으로 실생활에 활용이 될수 있도록 그런 정확성이 향상이 되는 것입니다. From our daily lives, food supplies to controlling supply and demand of energy, weather forecast is indispensable to society at large. If the Korean-style numerical weather forecast model is commercialized, we will have an era of more precise weather forecasts.